KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, this is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we've got a mixed bag out here. The Dow down 55, while the S&P is up 11. The Russell's down 17, while the NASDAQ 100 is up 115. The trannies are off 111, while the semis are up 41 points out there. You kind of get it, a very mixed bag out here. The spot volatilics is basically flat trade at 1715, but it's below the 50-day exponential moving average. That says the wind is at the sales of the back for the S&P 500. Gold's off nine bucks silver's down 27 cents lights we crude up a buck 13 as we do during our 2 p.m update we go take a look at the indice charts out here so oh those are the charts that are up on the screen how about that i didn't even have to uh, switch over so let's begin by taking a look at the dow jones now the dow jones we're gonna and i i, I did this with you yesterday i want to do this again today the dow trade out at 35.874 the dow equity future contract 35.819 you can do the math difference there. What you're watching for, for those of you that don't have the Dow Equity Future contract, if there's a close below 35, 759, that's the bottom of the Dow's Equity Future contract, bottom of its profile, that would suggest lower price. That would then signal to you and I that the Dow should target 35, 545. That is its breakout area. But those are the requirements that are needed in order to generate that signal to us. The S&P 500 uh, the, is, is still bearish because it still has a TD9 count. Price would need to close above bar number eight on this pattern. That high out there is, if I can get it, appears to be 47.1850. So unless price closes above that level, it still has a top that's in place. The NDX 100 right now is trying to take out its TD9 count top. It needs a close above 16, 454.48. Let me make sure of that. Did I write that down properly? I did. So 16, 454, 48. If price closes above that today, folks, as you come into the close, you have no reason at all to be short the NDX 100. The Russell 2000, uh, now the Russell 2000 equity future contract is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. But for us right now, that doesn't matter because it, and although I don't show it on this daily chart here, what I want you to know is price is testing its consolidation breakout. And as long as the uh, price holds, let's say the level is about 22, 2342. As long as price remains above 2342, it still has a, it's like it's got a top in place, but then key level of support will have held. Folks, we're running out of time here. Stay tuned for David White. He's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 8 o'clock, well, really about 8.06 sharp. So we'll see you early in the morning. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. The reality 